All right, guys, so this is that Aero Precision build from one of my previous videos. Uh, I wasn't able to get uh, first shots on film. It was raining pretty good by the time we got up to the mountain, so I just uh, skipped out, especially when uh, I started having issues. Uh, I got about 30 rounds down range and constantly had a bolt failure to seat. Uh, the bolt wouldn't close all the way, so basically, Go ahead and drop this 40 round magazine. Makes it look like an AK, I love them. Uh, basically what I was getting was, I'd fire, my bolt would stop right about there. Fire, I hit my forward assist, which I don't recommend doing, but I was getting frustrated at this point. Uh, fire, poof, bolt, failure to seat properly. Had no idea what it was, so I got it back to the house and I went through the process I'm about to show you to figure out what it was. Um, the only thing I could find out was, you know, possibly, uh, you know, spring, buffer weight, um, maybe the bolt was hitting the, uh, it's pretty dirty because I eventually got the kinks worked out, I'll go over that now. Um, I thought maybe the gas tube was hitting on the bolt, but uh, I did find out online that, uh, if your bolt falls with its own weight, it's uh, not binding up on the gas tube. So you just hold it up like this and you release. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. You just release the bolt and if it closes all the way properly, then uh, on its own weight, then it's seating just fine and it's not rubbing on that gas tube. Um, I also thought it might be my uh, charge handle here because it was rubbing right here. You can see where the uh, finish is taken off, where it latches. But the charge handle isn't reciprocating when you fire it. So if it was a charge handle, it would only do that on the first round. So then I started looking at uh, the spent casings that I was able to get downrange. And this is when I found, let's see if I can get this in here, let's see if I can get it to focus. There were chunks taken out of the rim of the casing. You guys should be able to see that. So basically my extractor was just slamming into the back of the bullet. My bolt was slamming into the back of the bullet and my extractor wasn't grabbing it. So basically all I did was took out my Sharps Rifle Company balance bolt and reliable bolt. Let's see here. Get your fingers on that. Remove that pin. Drop your firing pin. You gotta go there. Let's move that out of the way. Remove your bolt. Uh, let's see here. Grab a small punch. Remove this pin. And you got your extractor. So basically there was simply too much pressure on this extractor. So all I did was remove my O-ring from my extractor spring. Put it all back together. Boom. My rifle shot flawlessly. Um, so I shot about 200 rounds flawlessly without this O-ring on my extractor spring. And then what I did after 200 rounds, uh, I put it back in. And I did have a couple minor hiccups with uh, the extractor not grabbing the next casing. But um, after maybe, it was less than a magazine, maybe 10 rounds of issues with this O-ring back in the rifle, uh, it's fired an additional 200 rounds since then, flawlessly. So uh, if you're having bolt issues with it failure to seat properly and you're looking at your casings and you're finding chunks taken out of the rim chances are your uh, 
tension on your extractor is just too great. So you remove that O-ring, wear in the spring, put the O-ring back on, wear in the O-ring, and uh, this thing has fired 200 rounds flawlessly ever since I did that. So uh, just a quick uh, troubleshoot there for the Sharps Rifle Company Reliable. Uh, that would have saved me a lot of time if I had found this video online. So I hope you guys uh, find that useful and uh, more, more future videos to come. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.